step aboard, step aboard, and welcome to the world famous Hall of Presidents Cruise. Now, see those people on the dock? Everybody wave goodbye because half of those people will be quietly grumbling about the politicians you supported. Now, we're going to go deep, deep into the political jungle. And while we do, I'm going to point out some of my favorite presidents. Let's see. There's that one. Oh, and that one over there. And that one with the suit on. Oh, look! Look at all those bushes over there! <laughs> oh, oh no, hang on, friends! Hang on, friends, it looks like there's some uncomfortable history ahead. Everybody lean in while we go past the Civil War! Lean in! Lean, lean, lean! Whew, phew! Whew, that was a close one. We almost had to play Hail to the Reef. Huh. Whew. one of my favorite presidents, William Henry Harrison. His nickname was Old Tippecanoe. You know, it reminds me of the nickname the other skippers gave me, Old Tippy the Boat. <laughs> you know, he only lasted a month on the job before he died. That would be pretty average for one of our skippers. <laughs> hey, there's George Washington. You know, I, Amber, heard he never forgets anything. <laughs> you know, I normally work on the Jungle Cruise, but I was recently suspended for sailing the boat out of the water and into one of the gates. It was horrible. Oh, say, there's George Washington. You know, I, Amber, heard he never forgets anything. <laughs> oh, over on this side, you'll see Richard Nixon. We have a lot in common. We both lost our jobs over Watergate scandals. <laughs> yeah. And oh, over there is Gerald Ford. His old Secretary of State, Henry Kissinger, just turned 100 years old. Yeah, be careful though. Kissinger snaps. <laughs> now, here we have the world famous John Adams. He, of course, was named after Dr. John. Yeah. Oh, wait. Get your cameras out, ladies and gentlemen. Here it is, the backside of Taft. Woo! Woo. All right. Oh, now we're coming upon the Republican elephant bathing pool. Oh, no, I see at least one ass in there. Oh, it's just Clinton. Don't worry, though. It looks like the rest of them have their trunks on. Oh, there's Kennedy. And Lincoln, can you name presidents more famous than them? Anyone want to take a shot? <laughs> Too soon? Too soon? Oh, come on. Oh, well, there's old Thomas Jefferson. Now, you may recall his head is on the nickel. He has a special going if any of you are FDR. Two of his heads for one of yours. You know, because FDR's had his on the dime. <sighs> Coin, you believe how bad that joke was? <laughs> I'm so sorry that j joke didn't make a lick of sense. <laughs> I should probably change that before the next cruise. <laughs> Whoo, and somehow we've made it. Now, if you enjoyed this trip, my name is Sabrina. And if you didn't, my name is Monica Lewinsky, and I probably blew it. Now you've read WDW News Today. Now it's time for WDW News Tonight! <laughs> Live from WDWNT Celebration near the Walt Disney World Resort, it's WDW News Tonight with Tom Corliss and Nicholas Cicero. Tonight, we take a road trip to the world's largest entertainment, McDonald's. The DFB Food Toss Game, July 4th edition. The wonderful world of psychotic comments, the music of Piano Rob, and more. I'm Nicholas Cicero. Now, here's your host, Tom Gorlis. Wow. Well, I'm Tom Corliss, and this is where in the world I am, unfortunately. 
is it. Please hit the like button, subscribe, and if you're really enjoying this nonsense, you can leave a super chat right here on YouTube. Your donation will be used to buy the entire staff McPizza. Yeah, you're going to hear a lot of that tonight. <laughs> Nick, how's it going? Great now. That was the best bit we've ever done. <laughs> that, that was so good. I just had a feeling that would that would tickle your fancy. I just I that knew was it. so good. I knew it. Yeah, seeing as you worked at a, a political radio station for many years, yes. I figured those jokes would be <laughs> tailored to you. Yeah, love the yeah. political humor. That was great. Yes, that was great. Backside of Taft. <laughs> that was brilliant. Backside of Taft. Rob, how's it going? It's going good. That is a fancy shirt you're wearing. It is, it is. Ooh, look at that. People can't tell if oh. we're on the air or not when I wear it. Oh, man. <laughs> oh, no. I have this fancy new hat. Oh, look. Merch. We, can... we do, we do. We have, so this is, it's actually, something arrived early, which never happens. Um, <laughs> it's a running gag within the car. It's kind of funny that that shirt arrived early. Uh, right, the police, right, yeah. of all the shirts ever, it's the first one to arrive on time. It would have been funny if they just the sent one. Stand by. Like, <laughs> <laughs> Stand by for the rest of the shipment. Uh, this is our Wigs exclusive Please Stand By shirt. Uh, if you watch the show for any amount of time, you've seen this on your screen before. Here, we'll reenact. No, we'll never. reenact what Don't usually happens there. Don't people are gonna think it's off the air. Don't do it. <laughs> oh, that'll, you think that'll break it? If I, if I line it up, it'll just right. pop up on the screen? The magic. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, so this is, everyone asked for it, so we did it. Um, it is the Please Stand By image, but we also changed it a little bit. There's the Wigs logo in there, so everyone knows your Wigs member. Carousel products, uh, these are available in the studio now. Next week, online for Wigs members only, and if you're Club 33 or Ultra, um, you have an early purchase opportunity, because we only did 100, that's it. 100 of these for a 16th anniversary, and then uh, they are gone. There's also only 100 of these. People asked for an adjustable one, we finally did it. So oh. I know we sold out of the old, the new era one, which wasn't adjustable, it was fitted. Now we have the adjustable one. Uh, this will be online uh, next week. If you're coming to the event next week, we'll have them in person as well, um, but online next week. There you go. You could you could applaud for the merchandise if you. <laughs> please clap! Please clap! Please clap! Anyway, the the clapping too hard back there. <laughs> Thank you, Darren. I'm still not giving you a hat for free. <laughs> Should we do the news? News. <laughs> Done 249 of these. 249 times. Walt Disney World is already selling Halloween t shirts in June. In June. <laughs> okay. Someone, someone works for the Disney merchandising team. <laughs> we did it. Something's on time. <laughs> Woo. Yeah, on an unrelated note, guests can uh, get their New Year's Eve pins at Magic Kingdom on July 4th. <laughs> get sure to, to pick those up. Coming out a little early. Uh, the Tiana's Foods water tower has arrived at Tiana's Bayou Adventure, yeah. Uh, the structure is different from a real water tower in that it has a crown on the top of it, yeah. How stupid, a water tower with a hat on it. Old Disney, <laughs> old Disney would have never done something like that. How stupid, they just can't do anything right anymore. Anyway, <laughs> the joke, kids, is that there used to be a water tower with mouse ears on it. I have to say, oh, Julie, <laughs> Julie didn't know. Julie, the youngest member of our audience, didn't know. That, that, anyway, Nick, calm down. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Start with the payback. Huh? Oh boy, Joffrey's revive in Tomorrowland at the Magic Kingdom has introduced a blueberry lemon cookie, which many people on social media said looked stale in our photos. Uh, yeah, it was very surprising as, of course, uh, the Magic Kingdom is well known for its fresh food and snacks. <laughs> oh, that's when I think of Magic Kingdom. I think of fresh, freshly prepared cuisine. <laughs> a, new <laughs> a new Darth Vader ear headband will be available on Shop Disney and in the Disney parks starting next month, except for in Galaxy's Edge, you know, because continuity. <laughs> Rob, Rob liked that one. Thank you, Rob. It would smell, it smell like cigarette smoke or something. Someone smoking in the studio? Oh. I don't know. Huh? <laughs> oh. There's a smoking construction worker in the studio. Oh. I was told we'd edit this out. <laughs> no. 
Pete the Smoking Fridge is now a construction worker. I didn't know. No, he was working on Tiana's Bayou Adventure, I think. There you go. It was totally worth dressing up the fridge. Right. <laughs> cool. He's just going to stay there now. He just, yeah. You want to do the rest of the monologue, Pete? No, all right. Just went so well last week, the monologue. Who wouldn't want to mm -hmm. do it? Yeah. I think the people that were here last week are finally just getting the jokes. <laughs> just, like, oh, no, I got, I got it now. Thank you, Sabrina. The Florida, <laughs> the Florida Division of Emergency Management is warning residents and visitors of dangerously hot and humid conditions statewide this week. And in response, Hollywood Studios has added one umbrella to Toy Story Land. So <laughs> everyone, the whole crowd just huddled around it. You got some shade for me. <laughs> oh, my favorite is you want to cue, cue it up again. You could have cued inside. <laughs> you could have cued inside. <laughs> but the budget <laughs> ran out. <laughs> no, <don't> <laughs> Uh, as you know, Disney is suing Florida Governor Ron DeSantis, and DeSantis has requested to move the trial to August of 2025, uh, which is after the next presidential election. Um, I don't know about you, but I think this feels like a mistake. If uh, history is any guide, you know, it takes Disney five years to build anything. Why would a court case be any different? <laughs> the sooner the better. Anyway. <laughs> you know... Hong Kong Disneyland ambassador Tony Dick, that's his name, uh, confirmed via the Instagram, via the Instagram, via Instagram, uh, that the sword and the stone uh, will be removed from the park to make room for the new Dreammaker statue. Uh, does this make the demolition crew the king of England? <laughs> they, pull, they pull it. They, they pull the sword from the stone, right? And what does that mean for Reedy Creek? <laughs> There's a lot of... There's a lot of things affected by this sword removal. The temporary, no worst joke of the week? All right, I'll move on. The temporary, you know. I like that one. <laughs> yeah. No. Someone shield no? No. <laughs> no, all right. I'll give it back to the fridge. There you go, he has his, he has his cigarette back. Back to work. <laughs> Those where in the world sets won't build themselves. Nah. Him and Lucas making everything. <laughs> Lucas does all the wood stuff, and then he does anything that's not. Anything that's not wood. <laughs> Lucas, Lucas can only work in wood, famously. Oh, yeah. boy. The temporary, the temporary annual passholder lounge in the land at Epcot has run out of Guardians of the Galaxy Zargnuts. They're gone. Yeah, boo. Mm -hmm. uh, they're also out of the free candy. Uh, which uh, was complimentary to pass holders for a time. Uh, but now guests who ask for Zarg Nuts will be offered the alternative D's Nuts by the cats. <laughs> <laughs> uh, for those of you that do want free candy, though, I'm sure Nick, Nick, you have, <laughs> you you have some for everybody. <laughs> oh, <man. laughs> It's really hard to do these jokes when there's children in the audience. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> Joe just goes, I'll leave. We've been waiting. <laughs> <Come on. laughs> oh, man. Maybe episode 250. <laughs> in an interview with the points guy, chairman of Disney Parks Experiences and Products, Josh Tomorrow said that something will happen with Star Wars Galactic Star Cruiser. Something will happen. Uh, to that after it permanently closes this year. Uh, something in this context likely means mold, decay, and neglect. <laughs> <laughs> Nailed it. Ticket, <laughs> ticket sales have been paused for Oogie Boogie Bash, a California adventure, after opening to the general public this morning. As it appears, guest demand was too much for Disney's IT systems. Yeah. Uh, the IT staff said it was an intermittent problem, which only occurs when people try to book things. <laughs> I thought that Stitch Eats the Page joke was real funny. Yeah, then you went to buy Oogie Boogie tickets, and it wasn't funny no more. The fog, the fog has returned to the lava pit on the Indiana Jones adventure at Disneyland. The fog is back. 
Yeah, either that or the smoke from the Phantasmic Dragon Fire has finally <laughs> settled. Why <laughs> all the smoke settled somewhere? I'm joking, of course. Uh, but it has been 10 years since the fog effect worked, uh, which is the same amount of time since Tony Baxter last worked, I believe. <laughs> it's coincidence? I don't know. A Hamilton sing-along is coming to Disney Plus tomorrow if you'd like to watch it. Uh, that really depends on if I've ruined all those songs for you or not. <laughs> there, see, you should have saved the worst joke of the night, man. We have how many? McCarty? Three? Three Hamilton songs? We've done, I think, too many. Three too many, probably. Tokyo Disney Resort has removed all references to the seasonal country bear shows, which have not performed since 2019. So no more, no more Christmas, no more vacation jamboree. Uh, Japanese fans believe they will remove the show completely because of this. Uh, you know, I don't, I don't think that'll happen. I really trust the new president of the Oriental Land Company, uh, Bob Tchepek-san. I, <laughs> I, I think we can fully trust him to run the company effectively. Oh, well, see, don't make me save the jamboree in Japanese. Don't make me, <laughs> don't make me come over there. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> I will very respectfully run a campaign against you, <laughs> it'll be more polite. Uh, anyway, Shop Disney in Japan is releasing a life-size Nick Wilde plush. Jake, we have the picture of this thing. There, <laughs> there it is. <laughs> this is real, this is the real image, by the way. Uh, yeah, look at that. And the Japanese wonder why they're, Japanese people wonder why they're having a population shortage. Uh, uh, this woman has found the man of her dreams. Uh, uh, there he is. Kids, I'll tell you, find someone that looks at you the way this lady looks at this Nick Wilde plush. <laughs> that's, your, that's your goal in life. Boy, that's the news. Who brings us the news? This program is brought to you by Wigs, the WDWNT Inner Globe Society. Support WDWNT to get early and exclusive access to content you can't find anywhere else, including exclusive post shows for WDW News Tonight and Park Center, access to our prize wall, a monthly Zoom with Tom, access to our Discord community, early access to our events, and much more starting at just $2 per month. For more information, visit patreon.com slash WDWNT or visit WDWNT.com and click the Patreon link. Join Wigs and unlock even more WDWNT. Uh, I think we might want to hire the chat to do the monologue jokes for now because there were some, some really good ones in here tonight. What was it? Why does, uh, they said the, the uh, plush was Allison-sized? Uh, uh. Plush was Allison. I, so mean. I, I think it is, though. How big is it? It's like five feet tall. Oh, that's my height. It is your height. I don't uh. think it's a joke. I think it's true. <laughs> I think it actually is. It's giant. She went from being offended to flattered in like a <laughs> It is. Uh. It's my height. Uh, Todd wrote, meanwhile, WWNT will release its own life-size Nick plush. <laughs> It'll also be a thing. Oh, man. I, there's a bunch I can't read. Anyway, uh, let's see what's airing this week on Disney+. Plus. What can, we, what can we tune in for? Be sure to stream uh, Zebra Dome with Pauly Shore. Uh, uh. <laughs> now, for the children in the audience, Pauly Shore was a very popular actor in the early 90s. He made like four. Was it eighties? No, it's the nineties. Zebra okay. Dome's a nineties. I mean, no, he was late, late eighties, early nineties. He was pretty famous. sure it's very early nineties. When was Encino Man released? Does anyone know? <laughs> Is Encino Man ninety one? Sabrina shouted that out like she knew it. <laughs> Are you like a secret Pauly Shore mega fan? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Which is your Pauly favorite, Shore. Sabrina? That's the question. Ooh. In the army now. In not the army not now. Son, not son-in-law. A goofy movie. Oh, yeah, goofy movie's great. He is. He's that, the kid that says Leaning Tower of Cheezer. Right? Nobody says jury duty, but it's funny. Yeah, he says Leaning Tower of Leaning Tower of Cheezer. Oh, What was that, Sabrina? 92. Encino Man was 92. 92. That sounds right, because I would have been around nine years old, and I shouldn't have been watching that movie, but I watched it anyway. Yeah. And he played Radmobile. Remember that in the arcades? No. No, you weren't an arcade guy like me. I think they were closed by the time I was a kid. <laughs> they, were, they were gone. There were no more, no more arcades at that point. 
Uh, so, ladies and gentlemen, we have uh, we have a show tonight. <laughs> Yeah. As you all know, next week there is a three-hour mega show, and so needless to say, we've really phoned this one in. <laughs> so I hope you're okay with that, but we're going to okay try our best. That. What was that? I'm okay with that. You're okay with that? Yeah. I, I figured, yeah. All right, good. <laughs> the fridge, is the fridge all right with that? Is he okay? I think he's fine you know, with that. He's yeah. on his union break. We can't bother him now. Um, but no, we have, we, have, uh, we have some good stuff tonight. We have, we have Super Chats, which I'm... They're already up on my screen, so I'll read them. <laughs> let's, let's do this. Alex Arandondo with the $7 blank yeah! super chat. Seven? Yeah, seven. Retro Red, $5. Since they are doing Rogers, that's the wrong Rogers. That's like Aaron Rodgers. Uh, the musical, is it Aaron Rodgers, the musical? <laughs> nah, uh, when are you guys going to parody episode Corliss, the musical? I don't know. It seems like a lot. Haven't we ruined enough songs for you? I don't know about that. What else we got? Sam Fritz, a.k.a. Nick's Worst Nightmare. <laughs> 499, the last place in the L East, L East Red Sox lost to the Marlins 2-0 today. Oh, Let the hate mm. flow through you, Nick. It only makes me stronger. Yeah. Good. Oof. Good. Oof. I mean, we wow. had a no-hitter through seven, too, and then he lost Oh, no-hitter, that's impressive. That's almost as impressive it's as a perfect, perfect game. game. yes. Mm. Mm. Yeah. Too bad there's nine innings. There's just so few of those in Yankee history. We yeah. needed one. Uh, let's move on, shall we? BC fan seven seven two five dollars In case you missed it, phenomenal cameo by Tom Corliss in the Diz's latest lunch review of Steakhouse 71. I am, I am in the background. I saw they were filming nah. way across the way. I said hello to Craig. Um, but yeah, I saw they were filming. He's like, yeah, you might be, you might be in there. I don't know. Did the shot of me running past the entrance make it in? Because I saw they were filming the entrance and I ran out of the hallway because I was like, I didn't want to, I didn't want to ruin his shot. So I just took off. But anyway, I'll have to check it out. But yeah, apparently I made it. Obi-Wan Kenobi, $20. Whatever you are paying Sabrina, double it, then double it again. That we can do. <laughs> uh -huh. She is amazing and throws herself into whatever role you give her. Sabrina, we salute you. I agree. <laughs> Round of applause for Sabrina. I agree. Let's see what else we got. Max Venti, yeah. seven. Yes, yeah, seven. Blank super chat, yeah. There you go. Uh, Joan Tuzin, 499, blank super Ooh. chat. That's blank as well. Yeah. Uh, we've got Melissa Craig, $5. Sabrina was great. Love the open. We did. It was great. We only offended a quarter of the audience. So we did, we did well. The only ones awake. <laughs> only the awake ones. Uh, Richard Poole, yeah! 99 cents. Thank you, Richard. Blank Super Chat. Jason Champagne, $2. Halcyon equals Honest Grogu's used box truck emporium. <laughs> Honest Grogu. Should be like crazy Grogu's. I don't know. Uh, 90 Day Fiance, I'm not reading the rest of that. Uh, one and I, Last Jedi sucks. I agree. I agree. <laughs> no one else agrees? People like The Last Jedi? No, nobody does. Does anyone like The Last Jedi? Okay, good. You can stay. All right. Let's, what, else, what else we got? Let's see. Uh, JC Bobbitt, one and I, Only want Nick plush if there's a Maxi Van playset. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> There was a popcorn bucket. Desi designed a popcorn bucket for you. That yeah. was exciting. Yeah. Could stick your hand right in there. I heard. Uh, some treats. <laughs> nope. Well, it's greasy right. for what? I can't believe it's not butter. No, <laughs> I'm going to pick this back up. I feel like you need a French accent with the cigarette. And, you, and hold it the wrong way? Uh -huh. Oh. Yeah. We put the, we, we put the water tower in. You didn't say how. <laughs> if I started a fire, it's a water tower. <laughs> what, is the, what do you think the water tower is for? <laughs> That's why we have them on every street. <laughs> God. And there goes the French viewers. There they go. Au revoir. Au revoir. <laughs> Uh, I'm joking. They love us in France because all I do on the internet is say that Disneyland Paris is better than Magic Kingdom. So it's okay. It's all right. Steve Mermelstein, 499. Today we remember Alex, Al Alexander Alex Maxwell Kintner. The Kintner boy is swimming in a better place. Wow. 
That's a Jaws reference, folks. That's the kit. Never mind. Move on. Kyle, <laughs> don't play into it. Don't. <laughs> That's why, that's why you hired it, me. Leave you it be. Exactly it made that. no, but like everyone was clearly very uncomfortable. Rob's like, this awkward silence needs jaws. I think everybody was stopping. Uh, like, did somebody really? Did something happen? Is no, this, it's is it's the kid in the movie that gets eaten by the shark. He gets eaten. Yeah. I don't know. Anyway, Kyle Murray, Canadian six ninety nine, yeah. playing super chat. Yeah. yeah. Uh, ducking Wrestling Podcast 499. People acting like Spirit Halloween doesn't already have a lease to move into the Galactic Star Cruise. Yeah. That would be the coolest Spirit Halloween. I would, I would pay anything to go into that one. Just like you get into the, ele like the space elevator and there's just a skeleton going, Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> and That 80s, what was that? Remember in the 80s and 90s, all the Halloween stuff that made noise? Played that one sound effect. Yes. The <laughs> that thing, yeah, just everything. Goes from multi-billion dollar hotel to just everything hanging on the ceiling playing that noise. Spirit <laughs> Halloween, spirit <laughs> Halloween. <laughs> Used to be a Saxon, whatever, I don't know. Uh, anyway. Tommy Lips, 189, this is my favorite show to watch on the can. <laughs> that's fitting, because that's where it was written, so. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> it makes, makes perfect sense. <laughs> Moving on. Sea Division 3D, $7. Seven? Yeah, seven. Nick, how would you fix the population crisis in Japan? Well, you see, I, I was... No, I don't know. <laughs> you don't know. I it's all right. Don't want to... Yeah. That's probably not something I should answer. You learned your lesson after answering which Disney character you'd start a life with. Oh, yeah. Stop, that, stop that, answering the super chat. Yeah. Yeah. I, yeah. I'm going to pass. Okay. Mr. I have no idea. 499. I just realized that a cannon event has taken place, an implosion of Nick's head after finding out about Ant Cass. Oh, Ant Cass, yeah. <laughs> God. Move that, on, please. That, uh, Rudy I took up Prusa. a lot of time this week. You too. Yeah. 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 Good discoveries this week. This is the dumbest show. Dumbest show. Four ninety nine. Don't look at my browsing history, please. <laughs> Were you playing something under that? Not me. Oh. The music okay. wasn't sure it wanted to yeah. play over that one. Yeah. Uh, Prince and the Revolution up forty seven twenty eight over Charlie Murphy and the crew. At the oh. All right. Uh, Jacinto Rodriguez, 499, I want a plush of the Bayou Adventure smoking worker. <laughs> Sir, I have a mini fridge that holds up to two sodas. <laughs> I would like to sell you. This is available <laughs> now. Please take it. <laughs> Please get this out of our lives. <laughs> I have tried burying it, burning it, giving it away. Uh, it continues to return. Is that all the super chats? No, there's more. Aliciana Nickel, uh, $5. Now that I'm local in the studio, I have regrets. Nah. Yeah. If you moved here for this, I'm sorry. I'm, I'm very, I'm very, I'm very sorry. Uh, Strong Tom, $2. Rest in power, Uber Deb. I don't know what that means. I have, like the rest of the show, I have no idea what that means. Um, so we do have more show tonight. We are going to play the, the DFB food toss. Yeah which was a big hit last time we played where people have to guess uh, which words in the titles of Disney food blog headlines are capital or in all caps. Correct. Yes. <laughs> and, and I added to it this time. Oh, it's not like Nick to add a complicated wrinkle to games. <laughs> there's, a, there's a bonus round. Oh, man. Yeah. And somehow it'll still be tied. <laughs> <laughs> you want to reveal that now or reveal that later, I guess? Later. Okay. Later. We'll surprise them. Yeah. There's a whole table. There's like a Fourth of July feast food. set up. Lucas blew up red and white, uh, uh, red and blue balloons. Even <laughs> it's like a, you can't see this at home, but we're gonna be there's throwing a very that nice, all over the stage. A nice spread. There's there's corn. Yeah. And apple pie and watermelon. Little potato know. salad, I hear. Looks delicious. Too bad no one will be eating it. All right. Uh, that and also uh, we're gonna show our road trip. We took a road trip uh, first time for me at the world's largest McDonald's. Mm -hmm to try the McPizza, the McPasta, 
everything. We've, we've tried, tried everything, the, yeah. The McWaffle. Yeah. <laughs> well, we've tried it all. Uh, that's coming up and much, much more coming your way tonight. So stick around. No matter who you are, there is a place for you at the Church of Imagination. The Dreamfinder gave us his only son, Figment, to be our Lord and Savior. Made of random body parts of several different animals, this little purple dragon has gifted us all with one little spark. Come celebrate the holiest of original theme park characters under the crystal pyramids in our place of worship. Only through Figment can we dispel the evil temptations of intellectual properties in our lives. Find out what really is at the heart of all creation. Be baptized in the jumping fountains and begin life anew. Join us upstairs at the former Image Works, where you can partake in a communion of Cheez-Its and Mr. Pibb. Hear an inspirational reading from our pastor. And after the third sensory lab, Figment did say onto the riders, upside down, now you are talking. And sing along with the congregation as our organist plays the stepping tones. The Church of Imagination, one little spark lights the way. Put our service to the test Tie your napkin round your neck Should ring and we provide the rest Soup du jour, out hors d'oeuvres While we only live to serve Try the grace that fits delicious To believe me as the dishes They can sing, they can dance And they're all mistress's friends And a dinner here is never second best Go on and fold your menu Take a glance and then you'll be your guest Be your guest, be your guest Ragu, she souffle, pie and pudding on flambe. We'll prepare and serve with flair a culinary cabaret. You're alone and you're scared while the banquet's just prepared. No one's gloomy or complaining, but the flatware's entertaining. I tell jokes, I do tricks with my fellow candlesticks. And a perfect here, all in perfect taste. That's wrong. Go on and on your glass and buy your own free pass. For you are guests, it's our guest, your guest. Life is so unnerving of a servant who's not serving. He's not whole without a soul to wait upon. Those good old days when we were useful. Suddenly those good old days are gone. Ten years we've been rusting, needing so much more than dusting. Needing exercise, a chance to use our skills. Days we just lay around the castle. Flap, be fat and lazy. You walked in and oops a daisy. It's a guest, it's a guest. Oh, that we're blessed. These words come really fast in the song, I never realized. I'm gonna actually learn one of these next time. Oh, I'm done? Tonight at 11 on the ITM Nightly News. A smoking construction worker nearly burned down Tiana's Bayou Adventure. Was he a racist? Florida Governor Ron DeSantis wants a later court date with Disney to improve his chances of joining the Hall of Presidents. And the Sword in a Stone has been pulled from a Disney park by Walt Disney himself. All this and more tonight on the Inside the Magic Nightly News. tuned for the itm nightly news that's Can't wait. now uh, there's a whole new nighttime block around us i think it's that and then uh the larry eric, elder and, and then, then the eric sapero show. The yeah, show yeah he's yeah. i think he's on at like 3 a.m now yeah it's crazy yeah, it's no one stays late, up you know. for that no no one stays up for this either but uh you sure yeah yeah I, but, <laughs> 
Nice. I'm amazed you do. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> Barely. This is too late for Rob. He can't remember the lyrics to be our guest. You okay? No, joke's on you. I never learned the rest of the night. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> the way to uh, do it. I think you should just start singing the wrong lyrics to everything and see if people at home notice. notice just on, see. Honestly, on this show, I think they would. Not everybody. That's but people, fair. People would catch us. That's yeah. fair. That's fair. I wouldn't. <laughs> no. No, you would not. Let's find out the Disney Parks incorrect fact of the week. Uh, Disney's Animal Kingdom will celebrate the 4th of July with a cast member <laughs> holding two sparklers at least three miles away from Annie the Anteater as not to bother her. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta make sure Annie the Anteater is okay. She can't take sparklers within three miles. There you go. I'll be there for that. <laughs> You'll be there? Yeah, yeah. Somewhere down World great. Drive, just yeah. to see the cast member with the two like sparklers. Yeah. Uh, there was a cast member with one sparkler at Tiana's Bayou Adventure this week. God. Poor guy. Oh, man. Anyway. Uh, let's take a look at the calendar. Let's see what's coming up on the show the next few weeks. Obviously, next week, a real big one, folks. It is our 250th episode of WDW News tonight. It is a three-hour spectacular, in fact. Look how uh, happy I look. Yeah. yeah. That's because your van, your van is the center of the logo. <laughs> You're very proud. Very proud. We got Toodles there, Rob, Spike the Bee, uh, Florida Man's there. Every, I'm the excited. Whole, the whole gang will be there. I've heard uh, uh, Nick's Maxi Van is the, the official... Uh, I don't know what what uh, the travel service of next week's show. I sure, yeah. yeah, yeah. The best right. part is services are only like six hundred bucks. <laughs> They're not free. No, <laughs> no. So I've heard all of our special guests next week will be arriving via uh, Nick's yeah. Maxi Van. Yeah, now. I mean we like to make money at the Maxi Van Company. <laughs> we don't give things away for free. Okay. But anyway, so on tip. next week's show, uh, the return of Kornak the Magnificent Liquid Magic, mm -hmm. which you guys are doing, is there a theme? Or you don't want to reveal yet? Um, yes, we are theming it to WDWNT things stuff. There's, there, <laughs> there's a drink yeah. named after you. There's a drink named after me. Yes. Okay. All right. Uh, also next week, not to be confused with Liquid Magic, we will reveal uh, rejected Liquid Magic cocktails, the ones that we could not make. Uh-oh on the show and of course the biggest segment next week would be the debut of our new game show where in the world is tom corliss which is presented by our friends at be our guest vacations who will be giving away a grand prize um if someone wins it all a four a four night stay at a walt disney world moderate resort and more uh and also some special prize uh, baskets for those who come in the runner-up position and as i well. bet that prize is free right the prize is no it's not free you have to work for it you gotta win oh you gotta find where in the world i am in order yeah. to get it so it's not free Good call. mind you um jake do we have uh, do we have the map did that look at that uh, so this is your first look ladies and gentlemen this was rolled out before the show tonight uh this is the map that our contestants will uh, one contestant at the end of the show Next week, we'll have to run all across this map to find a number of locations if they want to win that four-night uh, Walt Disney World Moderate Resort Hotel stay. Um, this is what they're up against, this giant map of the entire Walt Disney World property that spans just about the length of the studio. Um, and this is all going to happen next week on the 250th episode of News Tonight, so make sure you don't miss that. You excited for Where in the World? Yeah. Okay. Yeah? Yeah, I think it's going to be great. Yeah, it's a great show. Yeah. Uh, if we go back to the calendar for a minute, we have some shows coming up after that. Believe it or not, next week's not our final episode. <laughs> we'll, we will continue on. On uh, July 13th, we have the return of WWNT, the match game. And on July 20th, the second annual ECV rodeo will happen out in the parking lot. <laughs> so make sure you join us for that. Tickets are available for all of our July shows if you want to join us in person at WDWNewsTonight.com. We have a new expanded course, right? The course will be altered. There will be new, yeah. there will be new uh, obstacles, mm -hmm. new obstacles this year. Yeah. So, um, if you haven't watched last year, the first annual ECV, ECV rodeo, I would go back and watch it. I would, I would prepare yourself 
for what's about to happen. Nick, yeah. who brings us who brings us the show? And of course, where in the world is Tom Corley? Uh, WDW News Tonight is brought to you by our official travel agent sponsor, Be Our Guest Vacations. Your dream vacation begins with Be Our Guest and their concierge team of expert vacation planners. Head over to BeOurGuestVacation.com slash WDWNT and their team will design your next magical vacation. From the Walt Disney World to Disneyland Resorts, to the Disney Cruise Line, to Adventures by Disney, and more. They're also able to book unforgettable VIP tours, where you and your group can experience the ultimate park day. The best part is their concierge services are free! So book today. I, I would dare say that's now. the best reading of that ad you've done yes. so far. thank you. Maybe they will still offer this grand prize next week. They will. They're cool. <laughs> We talked. They're good. You talked to them? Yeah, 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 yeah. They're good. Now I'm worried. They like the fun banter, you know. All right. <laughs> um, so I gave them some tips, too. I said, you know, charge, charge a couple bucks. Are people tipping you now? They were like, yeah, the tips are starting to come in. So I appreciate it, everybody. So last week, some Super Chats came in pretty late in the show. We actually didn't get to read them on the air. I think Jake has those for us. I want to make sure we read those since some people are nice mm -hmm. enough to, to leave them. Uh, State Division 3D, $2. What would be the Tom Corliss meal at McDonald's? Ooh, good one. Um, what are you, are you going to answer this? Is it a milkshake that will make people, like, violently ill? Have you seen the TikTok trend of the Grimace milkshake? No. So it became a thing where people film themselves like taking a sip and they start to say, oh, it's pretty good. And then it like cuts off and then like some really disturbing things happen, but it's become a major TikTok trend. It's pretty wild. Like people are legit getting sick? No, no. it's okay. like a bit. So I, I, yeah. I, I would have a, you would have a shake with seven different flavors in it. Yeah, seven. A Big Mac with seven layers on it. I don't it. like Big Mac. Oh. You don't like big I don't nuggets. like McDonald's hamburgers. Oh, wow. I like chi chicken nuggets, nugget chicken salad. Seven nuggets. Like nugget you get there seven you nuggets. That's not enough, though. And you get a seven ounce drink. It's, a, it's like a kid's meal. That's the Tom Corliss meal. Do you think I got to this point <laughs> by eating only seven chicken McNuggets? Uh, seven nuggets, <laughs> seven, nugget, seven fries. But we charge more for it because my face is on the box. <laughs> wow. Anyway. Yeah, I think it, it would be it'd be something with chicken McNuggets, but mm. it would come with like the spiciest sauce, like a ghost pepper sauce. Chicken nuggets with a ghost pepper sauce. Mm. How about that? Sure. But I like your seven flavor milkshake. The the, the box it comes in is like a button down shirt, right? Like. So you unbutton your yeah, meal? Yeah, you unbutton it and you get your meal. You would like that, wouldn't you? <laughs> <laughs> no, someone just yelled, no, thank you. Oh, man. My favorite thing about 250 oh, episodes is you, you can watch over, you know, 500 hours of this program and watch us slowly slip into dilution. The meal is exclusively available in Japan? Yes. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. There you go. Now you got it. Uh, Obi-Wan Kenobi last week, $10. Sabrina is the unsung hero of News Tonight. Everything she does is gold. We all love Sabrina. Joe, <laughs> this is also about Sabrina. Joe Klaus, <laughs> 199, somebody looks leveled. <laughs> or Sabrina, we're glad Sabrina got home all right last week. We're happy. Sam Fritz, 199, uh, you bet I'm marvelous. Because Sam, yeah, Fritz was one of the birds. Ah. Yeah, I know he's your favorite. Uh, T Mar, 499, my wife said, give them money tonight. They did a beautiful job decorating the set. Also, shout out to my wife who made a tiki-themed dinner and dessert. Aww. And I think we asked, I think we did ask what the meal oh, was. it's time I to forgot. go. Someone's, yeah, I know, someone's, someone's oh. alarm's going off, yeah. Um, but yeah, we asked them, his wife did make a themed meal. I think they had, That's amazing. Oh, I forget what, I think there was a pineapple dessert of some kind. It was meatballs. Hmm. The meal was meatballs? Were they like coconut? Hawaiian barbecue sauce meatballs, Ooh. and then there was like a pineapple cake, right? Or something? There was a dessert. And maybe rice. Yeah. All right. <laughs> well, they had a team meal. But yes, the set was beautiful. Lucas did a beautiful job. You can applaud for Lucas. Lucas did a great job last week. 
decorating the set. All our, our tropical, what was, what was that? You told, Allison just yelled for Lucas to go take a bow. Just eat, tell him to eat his bread already. It's si I see it sitting up there. So Allison brought, of course, being mean, Allison brought just her husband, Lucas, Sana bread service, and not the rest of us. Of course. Of all the meals, too, at the break. She brought Always. my favorite. So it's sitting back there, and I have to stare at it the whole show. It's on that back shelf, mislabeled. Uh, <laughs> never mind. But Luke, Lucas, eat your bread. Eat it's your bread. Eat, eat your bread. Eat your bread. Eat. <laughs> As we chanted that, he actually slipped further into the darkness in the back of the studio. <laughs> now he'll never come out. <laughs> It'll be weeks before we see him again now. You already texted Allison. I told you not to get me bread served. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Uh, we have more. Is that all of them, Jake? That's all of them. That's all the ones from last week. Oh, there's new ones from tonight, though, of course. Sure, let's do this. Uh, Monty Gothard uh, wrote $5. Could we get an album version of Tom's What Did I Miss? No. I think you've got enough of it on the air. Plus, I don't know that, I don't know that Rob and Sabrina could rap that front part again effectively. <laughs> that, we tried our best. We tried our best. Uh, Alex Arandondo, seven dollars. Yes, seven. Uh, thanks to WDWAF, I went over to the Dahlia Lounge Saturday and loved the views. I was able to catch the fireworks and a drink. Thanks. Is that when we went? I think we no, that was the one I was on Saturday. Oh, you were one, no, but we actually went on Saturday. Yeah, oh, you went there. <laughs> yeah. yeah, we were there on Saturday night after fire. We were there later. Maybe it was Sunday. Was it Sunday? How was Saturday? Yeah. No, Sunday we Sunday played we the played board the game. game. Yeah. So Saturday, yeah. yeah. Nick, Nick, and I spent the whole weekend together. Three days in. Three days in a row? I know, it's like a record. Wow. Yeah. yeah. Nice. It's like we're friends. Oh, uh, no, we went to, we went to Dolly, we also went to Three Bridges. Mm hmm Yeah. And then we played, we finally played that, that Jurassic World Amazing. board game. Which it is. Love it. It is. If, it, if people don't know about it, it's, um, what is it, the legacy of Isla Nubar? Yeah. Um, it is a, this is, I'm going to go on this tangent. They apparently now sell board games you can play once, mm -hmm. and then you can't play them it's again. Experience. This you, is a thing. You actually destroy cards. Yeah. You 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 change the board by putting stickers on it. You, so you permanently apply the stickers to the board, and you build the part. You should have saw Tom's face when I read the directions. Like, and it was like, yeah. you destroy this card. Rip after this using card it. directly after using. And I said, if any of you rip this card. I will throw you out of here. We had to put stickers in the rule book and we had to make sure we stayed in the lines. Like, oh my God, I was shaking. I had them, the cards, the cards you're supposed to rip, we put back in envelopes. I was like, don't rip it. Leave it alone as if it's going to be played again. You can't play it no. again. But I didn't want anyone ripping. It's, it's a nice game. I didn't want anyone ripping it up. I understand. But highly recommend it. We played what? Three, three rounds, three out of 12. Three out of 12 chapters, mm -hmm. yeah. Someday we'll finish. So you've kept it in mint condition for the next auction? Ha! Huh. We have to finish it first, and then people yeah. can people can buy our used board game that they cannot play. <laughs> that'll be the that'll <laughs> that's the that's the so plan. Good. That's the plan. Someone someone at the charity auction will buy it. If we sign we'll it, sign it yeah. we sign our park, yeah. There you go. But yeah, uh, uh, Walt Disney World after five. If you haven't watched those, those are on this channel. They're, they're on here, watch them. They're a great tour of many of the lounges at Walt Disney World, if you've never been any of those. Um, I think it's a great little look at each of them. So yeah. please go watch those. Uh, Jason Champagne, $2. Where in the world has Toodles been? Hashtag mystery tool. Hmm. Mm. I don't know, it's been a while. I should give Toodles a call. For the Only if we need maybe. something though. Yeah. We have to need something. Yeah, oh, we'll need a lot next week, Tom. I'm going to need a lot next week. <laughs> uh, Kyle Lesher, one yeah! of the super chat. Yeah. Thank you. That's it. Uh, Nick, you have comments? I do. Let's do it. Walt Disney presents... Tom, the uh, central, 
<laughs> I know. Where did someone stole our couch? Someone... You see our couch? Please report it to the authorities. Yeah. Well, anyway, yeah. go ahead. Uh, Tom, the uh, Central Florida Tourism Oversight District unveiled their new logo. Yeah. And as you can imagine, it got some comments. I would imagine. Uh, Van Rehe wrote in. That's if, not what the thing on the, on the oh, wait, what? show says, but 50th removal. Is that an old one? Uh, Do you have that this week? Yes. No. Oh, all Please right, just, stand by. Just take the graphic down. That's not... <laughs> We just take the graphic down. And this down. is what I get for turning in my comments a day early. Yeah, I, I understand. It doesn't get done. I understand. It's fine. You can just read them. All right. Well, uh, Van Rehe wrote in, if I were naming this, I would have gone with something more or or Willy, Orwellian. Ministry of Reasonable Governance, perhaps. All right. You know. Eric, Eric PZ wrote in, I wonder how much taxpayer money was spent hiring a graphic designer company to create this. My eight-year-old could create a better logo on his iPad. I think it's the person that did the Hollywood Studios logo, the new okay. one. Uh, this next uh, comment looks like an under-budget school district logo. Kind of. It, kind of it does. actually does. Uh, Xenius wrote in, it feels like evil with a forced smile. T.D. Johnso wrote in, looks like they asked a child to draw the logo, or was this a money-saving thing, since they are paying board members hundreds of thousands of dollars? I mean, uh -huh. they are. Uh, David Smith wrote in, might as well be named Make Florida Great Again. <laughs> <laughs> All I could think of was, like, citrus growers or yeah. Tropicana. Yeah, like, that's, right? that's like so the weird. orange tree. Yeah, it's, I don't understand the logo. Uh, John Shannon wrote, uh, glad to see they still had a copy of Microsoft Office 95 <laughs> clip art on hand. Oh, man. And uh, last but not least, Charles Jones wrote, why does this logo include an orange tree? There's no citrus production anywhere on that property. So, or, I mean, it's the tourism, yeah. right? It's about yeah, tourism. Yeah, it's about tourism. Right? But so an orange tree is just such a weird choice. Weird. They couldn't pick a castle, probably Disney would have, <laughs> Disney would have sued them for probably that. Probably not. Oh. All right, next story. Disney accidentally shares video of construction workers smoking during Tiana's Foods water tower installation. Um, we got the, this one from Carol. Things were much better when we could smoke in the parks. No wonder people brawl, but I guess weed is acceptable, right? Just say it, hypocrites. <laughs> You can't smoke weed in the park either. You can't smoke anything in the park. Uh, HP Thorn. So wait, hold on. I want to dissect this yeah. a little more. D dissect away. They they think all the fighting is because people can't smoke yes. in the park. Pent up smokers. Yes, that want to smoke and. <laughs> Jake just goes. I could see He's it. He's back there smoking right now. He's like, hey, that's why Jake. Get through this. That's why Jake doesn't go to the park anymore. He's like, I can't. I just fight everybody. No, remember that one <laughs> week we wouldn't let Jake smoke, and he started punching everybody. Wow. No. Uh, Jake, Jake is doing great. How many weeks now, Jake? Three months. Jake's at three Whoa. months. <laughs> Jake hasn't smoked in three months. We're very, we're very proud of him. Very proud. Jake, how many kegs have you gone through? No, in that no. I'm just you know. Um, wow. No. <laughs> Tomorrow, somebody's got a cake putting up the water. There's a reason we called it 626 Day. <laughs> how many? Uh, at HP Thornsbury, I'm pretty sure that's a screwdriver. There was, so I'm, I'm going to share this story. There was, so zoomed out. It, it kind of looks like it could be the top of a screwdriver. Mm. So I went into Slack is what we use for work. And we were talking about it in there, and I came in. I was like, guys, I think that I don't want to be that guy, but I think this might be a screwdriver. And then they like they zoomed in and like. But then the thing that sealed it for me was Jake came in <laughs> to Slack and goes, "No, that's a dart." <laughs> that's <laughs> <laughs> Jake was like, "That's a that's a cigarette." I was like, I, "If I believe anyone, mm. Jake Jake's got this." Jake Jake knew. So, uh, at Sever Cat wrote, Walt himself smoked. This is inclusion. I mean, he did. 
All right, next story. I recall the, this is something you, you tweeted, I believe. Yeah. Uh, I recall the horrific pictures from several other Disney parks around the world when there were severe maintenance issues. Yeah. And what we're seeing now, Walt Disney World feels reminiscent of those moments in Paris or Anaheim over the last 20 to 30 years. Yeah, and the photos that accompany this were um, the roof of Town Square Theater is, is crumbling. Um, you could see the underneath under the shingles and everything, yeah. Well, at Rick Hunter said, Walt's cryogenically frozen head is rolling over in its tube of how bad maintenance has gotten. Yes. Well, we'll take on the Walt rolling over in his grave now. It really uh, went over big with the crowd. Uh, it did not. <laughs> we'll see if this one does. Josh Demaro message now playing on Disney Resort TVs. Oh, no. At WDW Trekin wrote, Explains why my wife turned off the lights and wouldn't leave the room. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, okay. The, the bolt is on. I can't open the door. And what? finally, we made a pilgrimage to Magic Kingdom today to celebrate 60 years of Walt Disney's enchanted tiki room yeah. around the world. At Baby Row 49 wrote... Good for you. I was taking a crap. <laughs> All right. That sounds like a productive Friday. Yeah. <laughs> Is that it? Let's see. Let's see. I did that one. I did that one. That one, that one. Yeah, yeah, that's it. Thanks. Okay, uh, we're gonna take a commercial. Oh, there, there's super chats. Hold on. Uh, Grom at seventy six four nine nine. Thanks for signing our Frozen two poster. Very kind, very sweet. Very kind, very sweet. I yeah. remember that. I don't know why anyone wanted to sign a Frozen two poster. We hadn't worked on that film. Not, we not for years. I know. <laughs> it's been a while. Were you? Were, did you work on that movie? Yeah, 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 yeah. What did you do? I was the the um, in catering, and I would drive up to the set with uh, with lunch, yeah. and I would deliver lunch to um, Anna and Elsa and Olaf. They were very nice. Okay. Yeah. Cool. Very nice. Uh, Nate Fielder, one nine nine. How many core bucks for the smoking fridge? He's not for sale. We love him dearly. He's not. For oh, you put a price on him. Yeah. You put a price on it. Yeah. You can't sell Jake's son. You can't sell him. <laughs> Leave him alone. A Dunking Wrestling Podcast 199. Is it better if the worker had vodka and OJ? Yeah. <laughs> Probably. I get it. A screwdriver. That's how they built it to Small World, man. How do you how do you think they threw that thing up in nine months at the World's Fair? Yeah. Smoking and, and drinking, man. Anyway. Uh, we're gonna take a commercial break. When we come back, we're gonna throw some food. Stick around. Nice. They were the most famous avian act in the world. When we first opened, we were the talk of the park. Everyone was giving up an e-ticket to come to the Enchanted Tiki Room. The success came quickly. I was up to my beak in ladies. The women were, how do you say, out of this world. When you're personally financed by Walt Disney, you tend to think the entire world is your nest. But then you anger the tiki gods over 25 times a day. There are going to be consequences. And the tiki gods weren't the only ones getting their feathers ruffled. We were young, just starting to spread our wings. And most birds aren't used to that kind of success we were having. One time, Fritz accidentally shit in Walt's chili. I don't know many birds that could have got away with that. But we pulled ourselves together and started expanding our show around the world. We were really flying high. But when Disney World brought in new management, things really started to spiral out of control. Some of Eisner's Hollywood friends flew in from Los Angeles, and they thought they had all the answers. Turns out they were the Michael Ovitzes of the bird world. I personally never worked blue, 
but Fritz took a couple of the orchids and some of the cockatoos and started doing a dirty version of the show on OBT. All the birds fling turds and the flowers spoon in the freaky, 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 freaky tiki room. I was really upset with him, but looking back, he had no other options. The macaws had come to roost, as they say. They were not happy that they added anyone to the show. I figured I was paying my dues by wearing a giant planter and fountain on my head, but no, that was not good enough. That's why I quit and went into the bar business. And even after the birds recouped in 2011, the future was never certain. They put a man who was shaped like an egg in charge. Then Moana came out and everyone just felt like there was no way we wouldn't all be turned into brain dead chickens at some point. Walt Disney's Enchanted Tiki Room, the story behind the music, this week on VH1. Les poissons, les poissons, how I love les poissons, love to chop and to serve little fish. First I cut off their heads, then I pull out their bones, ah mais oui, c'est toujours des dish. Les poissons, les poissons, hee hee hee, oh, oh, oh. with a cleaver I hack them in two. I pull out what's inside and I serve it up fried Cause I love little fishes, don't you? Something attempting the palate Prepared in a classic technique First you pound the fish flat with a mallet Then you slash through the skins and they bury a slice Then you rub some salt cause that makes it taste nice Sac le bleu I have missed one. What is this? How on, earth, how on earth could I miss such a sweet little succulent crab? Well, dommage, oh, what a loss. Here it goes in the sauce. Now some flour and I think just a dab. Now I stuff you with bread. It don't uh, hurt cause you're dead and you're certainly lucky you are. Cause it's gonna be hot in my big silver pot to the loo when poisson of revoir. Don't worry, I, pre I prepared plenty of food songs, Jake, don't you worry. Hum de dum dum, hum de dum dum, I'm so rumbly in my tumbly num. Dum 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 de dum dum time for something sweet. I wouldn't climb this tree if a poo flew like a bee. But I wouldn't be a bear then, so I guess I wouldn't care then. Bears love honey and I'm a poo bear, so I do care. So I climb there, I'm so rumbly in my tumbly time for something. Tonight at 11 on the ITM Nightly News, Josh DeMauro just said something will happen to the Star Wars Galactic Star Cruiser. Did he just confirm the Star Trek Hotel? You'll soon be able to walk on Kevin Feige in Los Angeles and do Mickey premium ice cream bars increase your chances of getting cancer. All this and more total stupid nonsense on the Inside the Magic Nightly News at 11. read this and I'll leave. Could, would you stop? She told me to get closer to you. Hi, Tom. 
Uh, let's find out uh, what Disney never built this week on Unbuilt Ooh, Disney. I like that. Uh, this week it's Barnabas T. Bullion's Runaway Railway. <laughs> It's overly, it's a runaway train. What's not to understand? And there's a dog with a picnic basket. He oh, gets kicked well, into the trunk. You want overly complicated. Oh, well, just wait, yeah. Just wait. Nick, take it away. <laughs> All right, hi everybody, and welcome to this edition of the DFB Food Game. We have our two contestants up here tonight. We have Kelly, hi Kelly. Hello. And uh, Jill, Hi. welcome back. All right. So, uh, do do either of you follow uh, DFB on on Twitter? Good, good. <laughs> All right. We're we're in store for a good game tonight. So the way this game is played, we are going to put up an actual DFB tweet, okay? But we are taking all the capitalized words and. And, and uncapitalizing them. Is that a word? I think it is, all right? We're decapitalizing them? Sure, whatever. You, yes, I dropped my pen. You have to tell us which word in that tweet they decided to capitalize. It may be an obvious decision. It may be not so obvious decision. If you get it right, you get a point. You get, you get a piece of food to toss into a trash can later on in the show. All right? It's as easy as that. Uh, until we get to the bonus round, then it gets more complicated. We'll explain that when we get there. Great. All right. Uh, Kelly, I'm going to let you go first. And uh, I think we're going to put the first tweet here up on the screen. All right. This is the tweet. We're actually pretty sad about this small menu change in Disney World. We're actually pretty sad about this small menu change in Disney World. Uh, Kelly, which word do you think they capitalized? Just one word? Just one. Oh. Just one. Oh. We start off easy. We get to two, three, four, five later on in the show. Change? That seems too obvious. You going with change? I'll go with change. You're going with change. All right. Did they capitalize change? Let's see. They did! Excellent job. It's as easy as that. They capitalized change. All right. So you'll get a piece of food to throw. You'll have at least one piece of food to throw in the trash can. All right. Uh, Jill, your turn. Here is your tweet. Don't mind me, I'll just be riding Kilimanjaro safaris all day to see this one baby animal in Disney World. Don't mind me, I'll just be riding Kilimanjaro safaris all day to see this one baby animal in Disney World. Which word did they capitalize? Baby. Yeah, that, that's what I'm leaning Got towards. Okay. One, but that's, one, one. one. I think one. I, yeah, one. <laughs> two. There is no two. All right, you going with one? Yeah. All right, we're going with one. Let's see if she is right. They did. Okay. All right. Excellent. You have a piece of food. Piece of food to toss. All right, excellent. All right, question number two for Kelly. Let's see the sweet. How many of these lies have you heard? How many of these lies have you heard? Which word is capitalized? Many. We're going with many. All right. Let's see if they capitalize many. You! <laughs> Everybody was wrong. You! We're going to emphasize you. All right. No food on that round. All right. Jill, Jill, let's see if you can get some more food here. Uh, what were just capitalized in this tweet? The title changed from what it was originally going to be. The, the title, this is an actual DFB tweet. The title changed. From what it was originally gonna be, which which word was capitalized? It. 
Title. I'm going to go with Title. I'm going to go with Title. All right, we're going with Title. Is it Title? Changed. Oh, sorry. I told you it gets harder. All right. Yeah, thanks, Joe. All right. Question uh, tweet number three for Kelly. Disney fanatics confess what they hate about Disney World. Disney fanatics confess what they hate about Disney World. Which word did they put in all caps? I'm going to go with what. What? All right, let's see if it's what. Oh, it's confess. Oh, man. So many choices. They're so close. You're one word away. Uh, that does not make sense, no. All right, uh, Jill, your next uh, tweet. Disney World's newest drink looks like it's covered in mold, but you'll want it anyway. Disney, <laughs> Disney World's newest drink looks like it's covered in mold, but you'll want it anyway. Mold, so many good choices mold. here. Um, want. All right, we're going with want. Is it want? <laughs> mold! It's mold, of course it is. I know sometimes they pick the easy one. That's why this is so tricky. They're so inconsistent. Um, Find I think out it, next week on Liquid Magic. I think it was. <laughs> <laughs> I think it was something in Adventureland. Maybe it was a Polynesian type drink. I don't know, Tom. Go follow them on Twitter. You'll find out. <laughs> oh. All right, now it gets harder. Oh, really? Now there are two capitalized words. Oh, okay in each tweet. All right, so the first few were just a little warm-up. Now it gets a little harder. Uh, this, is, uh, this is the fourth round here, right? So, Kelly, here is your next tweet. This isn't Mean Girls. You can sit with us. We've been scouting the best Disney World food for 15 years, and we want you to come sit with us. All right, there are two capitalized words here. This isn't Mean Girls. You can sit with us. We've been scouting the best Disney World foods for 15 years, and we want you to come sit with us. Well, one of them is you. It's always you. It's always you. It was a good place to start, but you got to tell me which you if you're going with you. Yeah, second you, the first second us. You. Yeah. Second you and first us. Is that, yeah? Final answer. <laughs> Second you, first us. Let's see if she got it. Oh, oh man. Oh, yeah, but I can't give you any food for that. You need both of them. You need both of them. I feel like it's a hidden message. You're saying, can you? Can you sit with us? <laughs> it's a coded message. That's great. Oof. All right. You were saying this is easy after one round. None of you have gotten food since then. All right. Who said it was easy? You guys were saying, oh, it's obvious. Ooh. Oh, yeah. No, Start getting not. them right because the fun is the food tossing. I know. Or else, or else I'm going to eat that pie. All right. <laughs> looks delicious. All right, uh, Jill, your, your next one. Two words capitalized in this tweet. <clears throat> now, we exchange a lot of ideas about our favorite Disney World foods, but ultimately we agreed that some, something that's arguably the best exists. Whew, that's a mouthful. Let me read that again. Ha! Ah, 
it would be much easier if they told me what to emphasize. Right? Now we exchanged a lot of ideas about our favorite Disney World foods, but ultimately we agreed that something that's arguably the best exists. What are the two capitalized words? Your, your, your opponent's trying to help you or throw you off. I don't know. No, I think ultimately. I just, yeah. Hmm. <laughs> All right, so we're going ultimately and exists. All right, let's see if she's right. Ultimately and exists. Oh, not even close. Not even close. What were you thinking? She kicked the bucket. Oh. Oh, no. No food for you. It's going to round five. Oh, man. All right, uh, we keep sliding. Why did you guys uh, step this way? Yeah, I don't know. We're, we're slowly going off camera. All right, uh, Jill, uh, excuse me, uh, Kelly, this next one's for you. All right, shh, we just found the secret discount in Epcot and we're only sharing it with you. Epcot. We just found the secret discount in Epcot and we're only sharing it with you. The sh in the U, so the, the first and the last this word. Yeah. Shouldn't be capitalized. All right, we're going with sh. And you watch out for those trash cans. We're going to kill somebody here. Just turned a little pale. Sh in you. Let's see. You got the U, but it's secret. It is. It is. It's a lot of times it's you. You can throw half a piece of food. Yes. You got two halves. So we'll give you another piece of food. Why not? All right, done. Done. She has more food. That's right. All right. Uh, Jill, your fifth tweet. Here we go. Disney World doesn't share all their secrets right away, but we may have just discovered some clues to future changes at one park. Based on the other answer. Uh, oh. There's no you. There is no you. Yeah. There. <laughs> All right. What, what, what are you thinking here? I think all in secrets. Okay. All in secrets. All right. You go. Yeah. Yeah. It's as good as that. It's just random. Oh, it's never random. It's very calculated to get to get to get the best clicks possible. All right, we're going with all, all in secrets, right? Is that yeah. all in secrets? Let's see if she's right. All in clothes. Oh, she did. She got a point. All right. Excellent. Some food. All right. The final normal round, if you call this normal. What? What? 18. Um, all right. So, tweet, tweet number six, Kelly. Here we go. Right. Current crowd status, people, lots. Okay. Current crowd status, people, lots. Lot two, right? two out of these five words are capitalized. Which are they? I'm going to go with crowd and lots. All right. Let's see. Is it crowd and lots? It is people and lots. All right. But you're not? Oh, the, the judge is not giving food on that one. Sorry. Sorry. These judges are tough. All right. Uh, Jill, here is your sixth tweet. Here we go. Two words capitalized. This might not be on your list of things to consider for your Disney World vacation, but it can really help you out here. Why you need the Google Translate app in Disney World? There's only two. To understand their tweets. There's only two. You. Well, I definitely. I know you. I'm just trying to. There are there are three U's. I and you. 
I, okay, I like I like with... not. I think not. I'm not cheating. Listen, you. Cam. Cam and you. Who's the other one? Um, let's do list and you. Which you? Because there's three of them. Okay, let's go with the last one. The last you and list, right? Is it yeah. li list and the last you? Really in need. Really in need. Okay, okay. That's what we were looking for here. Maybe it is calculated because they you really need Sorry. that, I guess. I guess. All right, Jake, what is our what is our score here coming up here? All right, with this tied two two. All right. What? Good thing we have bonus rounds. It's a nail biter. All right, the first, we have four bonus questions. The first one's going to Kelly. If you get it right, you get the points. If you get it wrong, you get some food. So this is where we give away food. All right. So, Kelly, here is your tweet. There are three, three capitalized words in this tweet. What the? I can't read that. Well, I'm getting the heavy yeah. throw. You, you might think Disney World is all safety, but I'm here to tell you that's not always true. It is, in fact, rather common to get hurt in Disney World. Three super popular ways to get severely hurt at Disney World, speaking from experience. Is it a popular way to get hurt? It is. Um, there are super popular ways to get severely hurt, yes. This was a bad color choice, by the way. People claim we write clickbait. Look at this! Uh, this is a thing! And people like this site! What, is, what have I done wrong? <laughs> uh, you don't capitalize enough. I don't capitalize enough words! No, Thomas, you, you capitalized the wrong word. All right, there are three like capitalized Homer? words in here. Breaking? You might think Disney World is all about, is, you might think Disney World is all safety, but I'm here to tell you that that's not always true. It is, in fact, rather common to get hurt in Disney World. Three super popular ways to get severely hurt in Disney World, speaking from experience. Okay. Safety? Mm-hmm. Three. Safety? Three. And there was something in the middle. And always true, maybe? Uh, I'm Nick, in fact Nick rather it again. common to get. <laughs> it is so small. I'm sorry about that. I thought we would have the big you monitor. Said that before. You in this sentence? <laughs> yes, the first you word is you. You want to go with you? All right. So we're going with you, safety, and three. You, safety, and three. Let's see if you got it. Not always true. Oh. Right there in the row. Right there in front of you. Oh. Oh. All right, you get some food. So Jill gets uh, another piece of food. Okay. All right, Jill, same with you. You get a, <laughs> you get a three capitalized tweet here. And, uh, and well, they're going to be tied if they don't get them all, right? <laughs> like it still would be a tie. That's okay. We're going to be throwing lots of food, Tom. Uh, okay. All right, there's three capitalized words in this tweet. Okay. Here we go. I didn't expect this to be the longest line I waited in all day. Don't let this shocking and potentially unavoidable line deceive you in Disney World. Shocking. I didn't expect this to be the longest line I waited in all day. Don't let this shocking and potentially unavoidable line deceive you in Disney World. I think I think line. Line. So line. Shocking and unavoidable. Yeah, because I think two are going to be predictable. All right, we're going with line, shocking, and unavoidable. Oh, oh, only this one word. All right. Kelly gets another piece of food. I didn't say this. They get three foods to three foods. Okay. I didn't think it would be. That's the only one I knew. 
All right. All right. Kelly, mm -hmm. this one's for you. There's four. There's four. There are four capitalized words here. I hope it's a four-word title. All right, here we go. Help! Okay. I'm already planning to spend so much money at this huge Target sale. What does this have to do with Disney? I don't know. Help! I'm already planning to spend so much money at this huge Target sale. Help! 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 I'm already planning to spend. Yep. Spend. Spend. Money target. Help spend money huge target. Let's see. Enemy. Huge. You don't say huge for no reason. Oh, you, oh, right. you want to go with huge instead of target? We'll do. We'll do. We'll do huge. All right. We'll do Help huge. spend money huge. It's target. You're all. That's oh, four. Okay. <laughs> Help. 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 Oh, so much. huge. No, you only got half of them. It's another Help piece so of food for huge. Jill. Is that a Craigslist ad for you? Help so much. Give so Jill much some food. All right. This last Huges. one. One more. This is a team effort. If you both agree and get it together, you both get another piece of food. All right. There are five capitalized words in this tweet. Five. Five capitalized words. Here we go. All right. <laughs> Disneyland has zero chill when it comes to really good theme park food. So what items should you be prioritizing? We've got our favorite sweet, salty, and downright scrumptious items for you to add to your must-eats itinerary here at the DFB Guide. Wow. Wow. I, I think for sure scrumptious. Scrumptious? I like zero. Zero. Must eat. Zero chill items. Must, yeah, must eat. Zero chill items. He's got to be zero chill and then sweet, salty, and scrumptious. I'm with that. I, I agree. Yes. Um, sweet, salty, scrumptious. Zero. I think, they, I think that first you, so what item should you yeah, be prioritizing? Yeah. Zero chill, sweet, salty, scrumptious. All right. We're going with zero, chill, sweet, salty, scrumptious. Yeah. Let's see. Yeah. Oh, zero, chill. Really? You. I told you that favorite. you were going to be there. Uh, to, really? Give him food? All right. We're giving you food. All right. So let's see our food totals. Jill has five pieces of food, Kelly has four. Let's throw some food. All right, let's do it. All right. All right, so now we come over here to the food section. We'll get this pen out of the way. All right. All right. So first of all, if you, if you have some gloves, if you don't want to touch the food, you can touch the food if you want. It's up to you. You want gloves? I will take You'll some gloves. You'll take some gloves. Put those on. All right. So we have some Fourth of July foods here. Um, uh, you know, Jill, why don't you come up here? Okay. So you can't step past the uh, past okay. the beginning of this right here. Um, you can throw it whatever bucket you want. Okay. All right, the one way down there that's worth six points. Then five, four, three, two, one. All right, you you can't throw it in the same bucket twice. You could go for whatever bucket you want but you can't get it in the same bucket twice. If you do, you don't get points for the second toss, all right? Okay. So I'm going to give you some food items here. We are going to start with a hamburger. All right, there you go. Why don't you take a hamburger, throw it in whatever trash can you want. That is frozen. It is. I don't think I'm going to go too far with this. Yeah. Right. Which one? Where are you going here? You're just going to do that? All right. One point for the hamburger. All right, oh. Kelly, Kelly, come on up. Let me give you a hamburger as well. I need to take the risk. Here we go. Yeah. Okay. Might as well, right? <laughs> what do you got to lose? Uh, watch your toe. Watch your toe. You don't want to become fault, disqualified. Fault. 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 
All right. Just don't step just don't step oh, past shit. that. I know. I know. I gotta watch out for you. Here we go. Oh, oh so close. You have a bucket down. Bucket down. Let me get that bag up. All right. Uh, Jill, it's your turn. Um, we're going to give you a hot dog here. There you go. All right. Toss that, toss that hot dog in one of the trash cans. Kelly, hot dog for you. There you go. Look at that hot dog over there. All right. Which one you going for here? Oh, all right. All right. So, oh, it's time for your third flow. <laughs> throw, we're going to throw some pie. apple pie. Oh. There's your slice of apple pie. Oh. All right. Oh. Going to toss some of that pie. You're going to squish it down a little bit. So squish it, it down a little. Yeah. Oh! <laughs> nice job. All right. You have four points so far. Okay. All right, Kelly, here's some. Some apple pie. We got a nice slice here. There you go. <laughs> Toss it out there. Just get a little. If one apple gets into a trash can, you got this. I, I have to go. There you go. Two points. All right. All right, so I think we got some tosses left. This is, this is uh, I think, round number four, I believe. I don't know. We're just tossing food. Yeah. All right. So we're going to take some potato salad. Ooh, potato salad. Hold out your hand. Are you sure you don't you want gloves? Want... Oh. All right, there you go. Some potato salad for the July treat. OK. Why? Oh, yeah, that I counts. think so. Oh, oh it's in there. It's in there. Look at that. Wow. It looks like the back of the maxi van. That is nine points all together oh for you so far. We're gonna give you. I don't know. Think two. All right, hold out your hand. Some potato salad. There you go. Get serious right. now. Bare knuckle it. Where are you going with that? <laughs> Try to go for a six. The trick is to make it break apart and land in all the buckets. Oh, uh -huh. nice. Yeah. Shotgun. <laughs> oh! Look at that! More potato salad right in the bucket. That's so good. Look at that. It's in there. It's like a real Disney garbage can. All right. Food hanging off the side. Nine to six. Now, I think, who, who had the five tosses? I think we have one, was it? Yeah, was it? All right, so let's see. We have cupcake, watermelon, or corn on the top. I'll let you choose. Do the blue cupcake, all right, we're going. I still have trash cans too. Yeah, you do. Going back to origins here with the blue cupcake. It was all cupcakes back. Oh! Oh my goodness, all right. Yeah, pretty good. Uh, all right. Oh, that was bad. Well, uh, Jill, I'm pretty sure you got uh, nine points in yeah. the trash can toss. Oh, yeah, that's right. Uh, Kelly, I think you came on with six. Not too bad. Was it, was it fun? It was fun. Yeah, throwing can we food. Throw more food. You can. All right. Why not? Why not? Here, an ear of corn for both of you. Go ahead. Throw an ear of corn. Oh, yeah, Katie, go wow, for it. She launched that at Katie. Yeah. Let's see what you got here. Watch out, Katie. We're going. Oh. All right. Might as well throw the watermelon now. Here, one slice for you. Here, pass that out. Oh, shucks. All right. Let's see what we do with the watermelon. Thank you. Whoa. 
That's a little bit aggressive there. You guys hate that Animal Kingdom bucket. <laughs> oh, you can't get that one. All right, well, we tossed some food here today. What what a thrilling adventure on the DFB food game. Tom, do you want to toss any food while we got this out? You want to toss something? You want to toss? Yeah, sure. I'm, I'm going to toss. Okay. Potato salad. Oh, give me, give me. The potato salad? Oh, I miss. I. It's in the wall. The West Indies is in the top. Oops. Jake and Luke are going to kill you. I threw a little like, too right much. I, I know. I, give me, give me. I don't like this. Potato salad, salad me, Nick. Yeah, make a ball. There you go. Nope. He cho you chose the potato salad of everything? Oh. oh. You completely missed the I threw He it landed right. it on the one spot <laughs> that's went not right covered. Into the spot. Where there's no floor cover. Oh, oh wow. so close. <laughs> Look at that. Go to commercial. All right. <laughs> we need to grill up the rest of this food, and we'll be right back here on News Tonight. Oh. The Galactic Star Cruiser may be a thing of the past, but don't worry, Disney executives will be fine. It turns out you can make more money with a flop than an actual hit. And in that vein, Disney is proud to announce a new joint venture with the legendary Mel Brooks. Spaceballs, the hotel! Take a Mercedes Cruiser up to the Balsion Luxury Starliner for the immersive two-day experience of a lifetime. Be surrounded by fellow assholes as you become a part of the story. How many assholes we got on this ship anyhow? Yo! Maybe you'll even need to provide a special code to a secret operative. So the combination is one, two, three, four, five. Join in a bridge ops training session. Keep firing, oh. assholes! Practice using your Schwartz and the privacy of your room. Please. Interact with not the characters you love from the film, but their stunt doubles. You can enjoy an intergalactic buffet that'll make your mouth water. Dine on all you care to enjoy jams, leftover blue shrimp, and pizza. There's even a self-service Mr. Coffee station located next to Mr. Radar. In the evening, enjoy an out-of-this-world dinner show adventure. Hello, my baby. Hello, my honey. Hello, my raccoon gal. And stop by the subpar lounge for a refreshing can of Perrier. Shop our exclusive merchandise in our gift shop on board. Thanks, Paul's the breakfast cereal. Thanks, Paul's the flamethrower! <laughs> that kids love this. Every luxurious cabin aboard the Balsion is equipped with a state-of-the-art TV and VCR, so you can fast forward to the good parts. There's enough room in these spacious accommodations for you and your father's brother's nephew's cousin's former roommate. What's that make us? Absolutely nothing! And don't worry about anything disturbing you. We've disabled the virgin alarm so that everyone can get a good night's sleep. Enjoy an afternoon excursion to the planet Druidia after getting beamed by Snotty. It was wonderful. And once there, enjoy over two attractions and lots of empty, sterile space. And if you want to upgrade to the ultimate experience, then go to Plaid with a VIP tour guided experience upgrade. They've gone to Plaid. Spaceballs, the hotel coming only to the Walt Disney World Resort in the search for more money. No, thank you. I'm good. Right. Thank you for thinking of me, though. <laughs> and all oh, beautiful for spacious skies for amber waves of grain for purple mountain majesties above the fruit 
at 11 on the ITM Nightly News. The genie from Aladdin was brutally split in four and separated across all the Disney World parks. Jamie Lee Curtis has fallen on hard times and is now working at Disneyland. And a new study reveals just how safe your pass holder magnets are on your car. All this and more tonight on the Inside the Magic Nightly News at 11. It smells like potato now. I can't imagine why. <laughs> no. Um, oh, we still we still have the artsy corn shot. Hold on. Wow. Is that better? There you I go. Closer. There you go. There you go. There you go. Love it. It's beautiful. <laughs> Just like that, that game. Huh? I didn't know they'd have a small monitor to read those tweets on. Some of those tweets were big. They're very big. Yes. Yeah, you knew when you picked them they were that big, though. Yes. Yeah. Look at that watermelon stain on the wood. I did that. <laughs> you did. Indeed, you did. You, know? you have to sign it. You have to sign it? What? You want they, to did, sign the wall? they did really good with the potato salad, though. Yeah, I did not. I clipped the top of one, but yeah. then I landed right in between the two protective sheets we put on the ground, right yeah. in the middle. I did great. Mission accomplished. Uh, let's see what's releasing this week on Nintendo Switch. Be sure to pick up the Hall of President Evil. <laughs> <laughs> it's raining, bring your umbrella. Yeah, thanks. <laughs> That's what I'm here for. Nick, on Monday, we went to the world's largest McDonald's. We did. Yeah. Yeah. We didn't waste any food there. No, that we didn't. So let's uh, let's just let's not waste any time. Let's see what happens. All right, here we go to McDonald's. Yeah, I'm excited. Yeah. Ooh, Tom, mirror maze. Please, We're not going to please, the mirror maze. Please, 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 mirror maze. <laughs> You're not a mirror. There's, there was, whoa! That's not good. Nick's forehead is damaged because he wore the GoPro or because he hit the mirror so many times. I'm not sure. <laughs> okay, so I want to know tonight which Orlando building has more active functioning points of light, Spaceship Earth or that? Or the parking garage that has them. Look, it's doing the show. <laughs> yeah, sorry. <laughs> Jason couldn't wait. He couldn't. It smelled those burgers were too good. It was a Philly cheesesteak. Yeah. Jason can't wait for Philly cheesesteak. Here we are. We're at the world's largest McDonald's. I've never. Who's been here before? 
A bunch of you have been here before. I was here like 100 years ago when I was I was here when it was the other building. I think it's the drive-thru. Annie and I have been here a couple times. It sounds about right. So here we go to the world's largest McDonald's. Yeah. I got really excited, Jill. I thought you almost said open bar. I, I, got, I got so excited. This is so good. Oh, I haven't seen this movie, but I know that's pod because they bought TikTok ads. Um, I already had the. Did you have a Grimace birthday meal yet? No, I didn't. It's, the purple shake tastes like Fruity Pebbles. It's delicious. Are we logging in? Log into what? I don't know. Your rewards. You have rewards. I don't know if you... Oh, sorry, I ordered something. You're already, I'm so you're bad at this. The Lux McCrispy. I don't know what to do. I don't want to cancel it. No. You don't want the McCrispy. See? It's you did it wrong. All right. What do we get? Sorry, I'm not touching that anymore. Are oh, they have all day breakfast? I need something weird. What's weird? Well, let's look at the pizza. Well, I want to look at the all-day breakfast. Hold on. Is there weird stuff in the breakfast? There's omelets. They're not right now, but there's omelets. There's a Belgian waffle. Yeah, that's available. All-day breakfast is all not I'm Getting available. a Belgian waffle. No, I'm not famous. <laughs> <laughs> be close. In a very small sector of the internet. Is it just, how do you, oh, you customize it? Yeah. What should we put on it? Chocolate chips. Famous enough to not work a real job. Oh, we need whip. Oh, yeah. You could, wait, what? You can put chicken on it. You can! We're chicken putting and waffles. And Belgian waffles. With, with cream and chocolate chips. I think it was on like the front, it was on the front page before. Uh, Recents and Fates? No. no. You have to log in. Oh. My oh. password is Hamburglar816. <laughs> All lowercase. Size and more. So what do you want then? I'll just do it. You can put Alfredo sauce. Or olive, olive oil, oil and, and garlic, garlic sauce. This has got to be better than Papa John's. Okay, so what do you want? Oh, oh you mean no. That? It just said cancel the last one, not everything. We can't cancel everything. the whole one. <laughs> we have to start over. We can't. Good thing they're 24 hours. Get the back. Ha, ha. Oh, Alfredo. 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 No, it's still there. Oh, okay. okay. No! No, stop! Stop doing that! I just that. want to go no, back! Just do that! Oh, okay. No. <laughs> I'm crazy. Just a cheeseburger and double cheese. Bacon cheeseburger, there you go. Cheddar or mozzarella? <laughs> You could make the most vile thing ever eaten at this restaurant if you wanted to. And I've eaten at Cosmic Rays, so. Oh, is it not even that? It should be, right? There's gotta be more to the right. It's not here. No, that's fifty-four dollars. It's not here. Okay, so see your thing. She erased it. Either, right? No. Yeah. It still said there were three items. My waffle. No, Sabrina. Oh, that's fine. So we'll order more. See, what would you like? All right. Oh, okay. I, I, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do. That. I feel like I wanna do that. There's a birthday party at night. I wanna do one of those. You're doing the chicken pizza. I'm gonna do some chicken. Ask Austin. I don't know where he's at. Black olives, pepper, and onions. I think we will. Are you sure? We're not doing Alfredo. Mushroom action. <laughs> yeah. All right. Same changes. And uh, we're going to do pizza sauce. We're going to do cheddar jack. And that's what I'm getting. I'm going pizza. We're not there yet. Hold on. Oh, okay. Or here, maybe do this. No? No, oh, and then, oh, we can enter it. We can enter it. Oh, my God. 87, 97. 
It is going to race the whole world. Is this going to work? Go for it. Push it. Just one time. Did it work? Twenty four dollars. Wait, what did you add for eighteen? She rounded off of eighteen cents. Okay. Pizza. Your pizza with the cheddar jack. My chicken waffle. Who has the cavatappi? This is cool. Here's someone be in charge of this. All right. That won't be a mistake. I'm in charge of the number. We are 1706. We can't get lost now. Please have a seat and we'll deliver it to your Follow table. Follow me, everybody. I think we've seen this done before. Hey, Tom. If you order a fish fillet, you get to pick out your fish. <laughs> like, I want that one. That's a good one. All right, follow me to the table 40. That's not how it works. Do they find us and bring us our cups? Our Lord and Savior, the Moon Man. On the other side, there's a oh, an astronaut. Did he land on? The astronaut, that's Mac tonight. There are inspirational quotes on the tops of the drinks. Mine says, sip the day. What is yours? Savor every sip. Don't waste the taste. What is yours? Diet P Other T M R. Oh, time to, re time to refresh. That's Jake with the stream every week. Mine, <laughs> Time to refresh. Mine also said savor every sip. Which I can't, my kid has it. It's already bad enough. So here's, I also ordered whipped cream, but they were they clearly like drew the line. They're like, no, you're an idiot. You you this is bad enough already. But here, here's my chocolate chip waffle with chicken on it. Jill's got the pepperoni pizza in front of her. But actually the pizza looks good. Pretty good. That doesn't. I'm sorry. No. It's on that sandwich. That's the Philly cheesesteak. Okay. It's kind of the the bun is kind of Toasted. It's under the mix salad shake. <laughs> yeah, Remember right? Those? Oh, it came in a cup yeah. and you shook it up and then. Yeah. yeah. There's some meat under there. What they should do with this sandwich is put all the cold stuff on one, one side, side of the styrofoam package. And then the hot, and the hot stuff, stuff on the other side because that way you'd keep the cold side cold and, and the hot, hot side hot. hot. Good old McDLC. Jason Alexander was in the commercial. Fun, to all the fun special shout out. Kids and Katie, the camera operator, look it up. <laughs> Nick, 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 I think looks That's legit, the best right? That looks good. That is legit. You got the chicken on there. Here's some, your two. You got some, some like, pasta like, dish. Some look at that. Look stuff. at the presentation like, here. Yeah, yeah. still. Oh, and this is the, this is the ravioli. The ravioli with, with the, the bolognese. With the bolognese sauce. My, my grandmother rolling over in her grave right now as I lift this up. Yeah. And yet, it's still probably better than Tony's. <laughs> well, that's what we're here to find out, right? Who wants to go, who's trying something weird and wants to go first? Nick, you want to yeah, go first? Yeah, yeah. Dive it in. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> Chicken, olives, peppers, mushrooms. Yeah, with uh, pepper jack cheese, cheddar jack cheese, I guess. Yeah. Yeah, cheddar jack, not pepper jack. Oh, I'm so sorry. 
I mean, it's fine. A little bit soggy down here, but other than that. Better than Pizza Rizzo? Or you never even had that pizza? Um, yeah, probably better than Pizza Rizzo. Yeah. You want to you break into the pepperoni, Jim? I'll try the pepperoni. A little bit pepperoni. It is pretty greasy underneath. That looks like it's going to be better, though. It looks good. That's like intended to be greasy, right? I think it's really decent. I gotta, I gotta try this. It's not the, like, it's not gonna be the best pizza in the world, but it's like that nice, greasy, flavorful pepperoni. There's a lot of garlic going on on here, which I think is fantastic. Like, I mean, Orlando's not known for pizza, right? So, I'm dropping Orlando pizza. It's a lot of here. There's all the food here. I did. <laughs> Shove it back in. I'm trying. I'm trying. This is not. While she's doing that, the, the pizza. I agree with Jill. It's pretty decent. Really? Yeah. You want a slice of pepperoni and try? Sure. So here, here's the. I got the Philly cheesesteak too. Here's the. Here's the inside of the Philly cheesesteak. It's got peppers and onions in there. When are we the, starting a McDonald's? The board? problem is a Philly cheesesteak has cheese and onions. They added peppers to this, which is fine. Some people do that. Uh, there's mayonnaise, lettuce, and tomato on it. This makes this technically a cheesesteak hoagie. That's what you order in Philly if you get uh, if you want lettuce, tomato, and mayonnaise on it. So they've got kind of everything here. It's not bad. The, the meat is actually... Halfway it's pretty good. Would you like to try remnants no. of what fell out? No. <laughs> I don't. Sabrina had a blowout. I did. <laughs> Big summer blowout. Big summer blowout. You. Nick, try to do the impression. <laughs> Wait, in the region? <laughs> do, yeah. All right. Okay. Summer blowout. Woo. <laughs> Wait, my mouth is full. I'm not legit. <laughs> I can barely do an American accent. It's fitting because it's like a sauna and I'm dying. Yeah. It's interrogation light. Alright, what are we trying? Should we try the the weird pots? Yeah. Bro? What is this? Is this like a pizza garlic crust? Bread. Oh, it's garlic yeah, it's bread. Yeah, it's the same, it's the yeah. same bread as the pizza crust. And they cut it into triangles. So it's just cheese ravioli, right? Yeah, they're not doing anything. It's not goat cheese or mushroom. Sun <laughs> dried tomatoes and feta. <laughs> Artichokes. Mantango. Listen, they had different color tortellini. I mean. He wants to eat more. That's a good sign. No, sometimes you just need a second bite. <laughs> Dave Portnoy is so wrong. You need two bites of everything. It exists, like I don't hate it. Is it kind it's not of, good. Is it kind of like grocery store ravioli that you boil you in a pot? Try it? The meatballs remind me of like the spaghetti-o meatballs. Oh, oh, like oh, them in like a oh. really basic, I guess this is the only color. Oh, it is the only color. Can we find more? I don't know. We can go order more. Just pick it up with your fingers. <laughs> I mean, if you want to wipe it and use it, you can. It's ravioli is yeah, cooked adequately. It's not too hard, not too soft. Like if better than microwave. It exists. It's not going to ruin anyone's life. No, but it's not, not like, like pasta shells either. It's pasta better than I thought it would be. Yeah, I mean, it's definitely like. Edible? Yeah. Oh, toss, some, edible. toss some bolognese on one of those raviolis and just hand me the ravioli. Well, wait, like it. with your hand? Or? Sure. You want a hand? Should I put it on the yeah. napkin? Just put your yeah. hand in here. 
It does taste like Chef Clear RD. Right? Yeah, it really does. Nothing wrong with that. He went to school with Tony Ragu, I believe. <laughs> They're both from Toledo. <laughs> Them and Annie. You know what you call a cook that graduates to the bottom of their class? Chef. <laughs> oh my god. Alright, I need to clean the knife because I need to eat my chocolate chip chicken and waffles. So they wouldn't put your whipped on. I like that, that that's where they drew the line, yet they only gave me one. They wouldn't give you cutlery for this. I mean, you get nice crispy chicken. That looks good. It does look I thought like you nice put the chicken on something. Oh, no, you, that right? ended up being grilled chicken. Yeah. yeah. Kind of like, yeah. So also, should I put the syrup? What? Just, I mean, yeah. Yeah. Mm -mm. It's a good looking waffle. It, it does look good. And honestly, the chicken cut looks good too. Yeah. I hate to be that guy. Here comes the hot cake. I don't hate this. What's everyone's go to McDonald's breakfast? I get nothing. What did she say? I get nothing. Why do you get nothing? It's always egg It's still cooking. It's still cooking. It's still cooking. No, she likes the hot cake. She's a hot cake kid. I'm a big breakfast guy. That was my thing, the big breakfast. See, this is what happens when you have a big breakfast growing up. I'm also very uncomfortable with the amount of people wearing athletic wear in this McDonald's. <laughs> That's probably so they could run down I Drive without getting attacked. What prompted you to make the choice of chocolate chips? Oh, because so what happened was I saw, oh, there's waffles. And so we're going down the list and the, the toppings, it's like, oh, chocolate chip. And then we keep going and that's like chicken. And I forgot to take the chocolate chips off. And at that point I was like, no, we're doing it. <laughs> there we go. Competition of like what is the weirdest food combination you can make on this McDonald's menu? <laughs> is it funny? It's good. <laughs> it's like legit good. You want some? I don't know. It's good. I don't know. It's weird, but it's good. It looks really good. Right. Yeah. yeah. I have more napkin. You want another napkin? If I had not put the syrup on, I think it would have been fantastic. Really? I think so. Syrup is what, like, so the chocolate, the chicken, and the waffle would work like, together. The, it, it's the sweetness, right? The same way, the same way the syrup would work with the chicken and waffles. The chocolate chip worked anyway, but the chocolate chip and the syrup are such different kind of sweetness that it ruins it a little bit. It's, it's a good waffle. It's a good waffle. I don't like the chicken. I feel okay. like the chicken kind of tastes to me like the oil isn't super fresh. And so that's detracting from the flavor. Sounds like McDonald's. You're in a McDonald's, right? Yeah. Fresh but oil. The waffle, like yeah. I would absolutely eat that waffle, waffle with chocolate chips and soup. Yeah. But not with the chicken. Not with the chicken. Not uh, with the chicken. Let me try Jesus this. Not I want to try this. Not, the chicken's not great. In my opinion. Yeah. Oh, it's not good. Yeah, so. <laughs> I like it, right? I didn't bring them. Do you want chicken and waffle? Yeah, I like that. The chicken's not great. Have to try it. Well, What's now I don't have a fork. Okay, so what is it? It's pesto, broccoli, bacon, onion. You can use your fingers. Okay. 
It does not look like what pesto looks like. No. And the waffle. There we go. <laughs> it's not good. Oh is it like texture? That it's like the it's texture just... from the get-go is bad, huh? This is everything I dreamed this visit to McDonald's would be. <laughs> <laughs> I was so disappointed the other stuff was okay. This is this is tremendous. Do you want some? Now I've got to get... This is tremendous. I've got to get in on all of it. And by tremendous, I mean awful. Right, there's some bacon. Let's get a little broccoli. Nick, get out of the play place. <laughs> oh, screaming. Oh, he's right there. He's right there. Yeah. Come on. It's not a garlic sauce. How bad can that be? It's a pasta. How bad can it be? The pesto is like... It's, it's the pasta's way overcooked. It's like mush. And I mean, the toppings are okay. I don't. It's not pesto. Whatever they think pesto is, this is not it. You want to try the pasta? Yeah. The really bad one or the okay one? No, the really bad one. You want to try the really bad one? Okay. <laughs> Alright, go for it, Megan. What we came here for. <laughs> Megan, I'm questioning your taste buds right now. Is that, so what what is this item? So this is a chocolate peanut butter layered cake. What is that? What is that? That looks like part of a knife. <laughs> broken off piece of knife. <laughs> <laughs> now, this is like, now this is like my McDonald's in the Bronx. Oh. Well, it was a different kind of knife <laughs> Is this like, did they need to smuggle this to somebody in prison? They, so that they, have <laughs> they, they saw my the kids upstairs and they were like, they need help. The <laughs> hamburger needs to get bailed out. So. Uh, I guess let's try it, even though we found sharp objects. Wait, here's the question. Where's the rest of that knife? That's right. <laughs> oh, it's in there. You we gotta, gotta order more. It. What That's it is, it's like a new Happy Meal thing. thing. You, get a piece, yeah. you get a piece every meal and then you put it together. You put for it together. <laughs> Oh, is that Claude? Did you yeah, get Claude? Yeah, we got Claude. Oh, Claude. TikTok go. told me I should love Claude. Yeah, it's Claude. And his little bag. looks like a Did you see they took out fake TikTok ads? It's a fake theater of people screaming when Claude, Claude comes, comes out. out. It's amazing. Wow. Oh, no, this reminds me of, like, the old school back in the day, like... Uh, this is the heaviest cake I've ever eaten. Well, now you know why the fork and the knife broke. They tried to cut it. Someone else tried to cut this and gave it back. I can't get my fork out of it. There you go. Oh, my God. This is made of cloth. <laughs> Is that a different cheese burger? It's good, it's good. <laughs> is this a different cheese burger? It's thick. Is this, yeah. But it's good. No, it's the same oh. one, yeah. Just took a couple bites and wrapped it back up. You gotta use it first. I mean, I it can't be bad. It's chocolate and peanut butter, but it's... That's what I said. It's wow. very chewy. It's like a brownie. It is like... It's... No one human I being can eat this. It's yeah, so it's heavy. <laughs> So heavy. Oh. It's the way that that. Yeah, very chewy. Yeah. Yeah. Do they have, like have a bakery on site that they make those, or are they shipping in? There's a whole separate like bakery really? section. Yeah. Of the I mean, well, legit, there. someone's probably, oh. they're coming off a truck. Yeah, yeah, no, nobody's yeah. making it. Have you ever, has anyone ever had the birthday cake? Apparently, if you go to McDonald's, you can ask for a birthday cake, and they'll have, it's a little sheet cake with Ronald McDonald on it. Yes, what you get when you have a birthday party. When they, used to, they used to be a more ubiquitous thing than McDonald's birthday, birthday parties. parties yeah. They still had, stock them at McDonald's. I had a birthday party at McDonald's as a kid. Did you? Yeah. And they set up for like the games and stuff. Like you had to like 
Jack cups and like oh, yeah. we all using we had, we like one too. They had like go fish and stuff. Like these, you had to stack up and. Oh. Yeah, when I did, they had like they gave you like a go fish game. It's like a gift. No. Yeah. They had like a Ronald McDonald like hat, like a like because back in the day they had like the old school like diner hats. Yeah. No, I think we should have your birthday party this year at McDonald's. No thing. <laughs> uh-huh. come to this McDonald's. Right, happy we birthday. can get the rest of the night. Happy birthday to Grimace. We can get the rest of the night. It'll feel like a match. <laughs> <set. laughs> yeah. Complete the quest. <laughs> well, if we get a piece of a fork, then we have to like, keep coming back. We have to trade have with other people. Trade. <laughs> <laughs> the trading area is over there. <laughs> Get to Epcot.
ice jugs. I only have two jugs. <laughs> so now can we go redeem our tickets? Yeah, go yeah. get the car. Go see what we can get. I don't even know. Oh, and there's a guy together, Green Army men. So just take a little avocado. Oh, I'm gonna have to find out. I don't know. They're there in front. What? Get the kids some. It's all over there. I know. Oh, Nick, we can get Green Army men. There's squashies that are more Oh, it's a cutting! Oh, that's so good. Want to get Green Army men? The rest of the Green Army men, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what is it like? I got 186, so I'm going to have to do the math on the couch. Uh, 30 Jason went there, my T. Let him do it. <laughs> <laughs> 37, one left. A little bit left. He went to MIT. He's not good at anything else. Look at him now. Look at me now. Here he is. I'm at McDonald's. I'm at McDonald's at like 11.30 at night on a Monday. We don't happen to have the extra plastic cups here. We can put them all in there. I got a bag. Oh, he's got a bag. He has a bag. He has a bag. Mac tonight. I get Mac tonight in my house. There you go. Yeah. I um, just want the astronaut. So we completed our visit to, I, I'm corrected, the world's largest entertainment McDonald's, which apparently is some sort of classification. Yes. It's a type of, it's a subset of McDonald's. Any McDonald's that I guess has like more than just restaurant and play place. I don't know if play place makes it an entertainment No, it doesn't. I think it has to be like additional play place. things. Yeah. Like an arcade. Now we need to go to that our next road trip to that teal McDonald's in Arizona. The one where they're not allowed to have golden arches. Oh. <laughs> anyway. uh, or the one in Chicago. What's the Chicago? That's the one, the test kitchen one. Oh, is it? Oh. Yeah. That'd be fun. I mean, I've this never is... been to Chicago. I don't oh, know. I, I have not. That's Chicago. the reason to go. Yeah, there we go. What a cultured reason. We also should Love find Chicago. one of the very oh. few McDonald's left that only have one golden arch. No. Do those still exist? They, they do. Bethlehem? There's there's one in Bethlehem. Yeah. Like where yes. Jesus is from? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> there's a big star up on the mountain, and there's a McDonald's, and there's a McDonald's with, with one arch. Gold, frankincense, and McNuggets. <laughs> 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 I have McNuggets. But really, you do have McNuggets. Yeah. Yeah. Man, we're just offending all the religions. Like. <laughs> Did everyone have fun? Yeah. yeah. All right, well, that's it. Heck this yeah. is... This is, they didn't send us here, but I'm going to promote them anyway. No. This is the, no, you're going to, you're going to have to go back on your Tom Brady yeah. shit hard. Uh, <laughs> this is, again, the world's largest entertainment McDonald's on I Drive in Orlando. No, it's pretty close to Universal. Yeah. So, and it's right across the, the area. street from the New Disney World store. That That's was closed right. when we that got here close. at 7. Yeah. So, seven. Yeah, yeah, 7. So, come on by for games, McPizza, and... The waffle. Just come for the waffle. Yeah. The waffle. The waffle's good. I'm, I'm coming the pasta, back. Skip the pasta. Skip the pasta. Skip the what about a pasta waffle? So next no. time, Tom? No, dig back on top of the waffle. Oh, oh. We gotta do that. Ooh, take the Instead of waffle the mud. and make it the mud. Yeah, yeah. that's what I thought yeah. you meant. Yeah. No, I didn't. No, I didn't. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> ba -da -ba -ba -ba. When to McDonald's. Uh, we have a little surprise. Are you blind? Are you wearing the stupid? Because you're wearing the stupid Amazing glasses job. from you, the maze. You should look at. Oh, it's so good. You make me uncomfortable when you reach out like this. <laughs> this is how I walk through the maze. <laughs> you don't want to run in the mirror. Stop. stop. We have a we have a little surprise for everyone. Mirror. Would you stop, please? Turn your mic on, stupid. Oh. <laughs> we have a surprise for everyone in the audience. Reach under your seats. If you all oh, reach under, Nick your seat, under your seat, there's a little, oh, there's a little sorry. gift under your seat. It's one of those Green Army men that we got at McDonald's. Everybody, you get a Green Army man, and you get a Green Army man. 
You all get Green Army men. No, Tom, we need to hand these out to our audience. You're getting these out? Yeah. The Man, show would be so much better. Before. I'm blind now. That hurt. <laughs> that hurt very badly. Man. Remember, kids, you too can grow up to have a weird late night show where you hand out Green Army men. <laughs> We have a post show for Wigs members. Remember, next week, episode 200. We've done 200. We've done 250 of these. Ooh, Do you the lights, it? Tom, the lights. God. Next week, episode 250. We'll see you there. Good night, everybody. <laughs>